and a good day to everyone. It is Sunday 25th of August. We're talking Power Director Android app number 52, which is all about sharpness. And I will whiz to the end first to identify our focus. These are the examples that I'm going to do in depth in a moment. And what we've got here is if I just tap there and there, we've got 23rd of August 2019 in the notifications in the app, a new feature which is a powerful hue adjustment which changes colour. I will demonstrate that but it only takes a few seconds. And the sharpness tool which is a really in-depth thing if you choose to use it like that. So what we've actually got here for an example um, is a simple orange background with the screenshot. Now watch what happens here. Edit triangle top right which is sharpness and then what you get is sharpness will go for images and video for an example it's zero at the moment with this simple one I can bring it up to make it sharper if I wish 200 is the max 100 you could argue is halfway but I would argue it definitely is not halfway and I'll just show you why and then we can go over to let me just play this because it's quite nice really where I've just put a tree in with a sticker and we go in and we've got the tree and a little sticker, free sticker by the way. If I tap the image, which is a picture in picture by the way, we get sharpness and I can go up and down. So 200 sharpness on some images or video is a very pencil -y type line and then back to zero. Incidentally, a sticker, which you may expect, I guess, is that there is no sharpness for a sticker. So if we go all the way back to the beginning, you'll notice um, I've done quite a lot of um, work on this because it is really helping me out. So if I just play it a tiny bit, as I said before, this is, um, by the way, actually, sorry, let, is it, it's only by the way, isn't it? But Power Director, the font, the yellow font you see is Lexend. Decker, big shout out to Lexen Decker. You can look at my other videos for how to add a custom font. So if I play the sequence a little bit, um, and I'm just trying to do this full screen actually. So if I play and go full screen, what you'll notice on here when it starts to play is he says, waiting for, is it playing or not playing? No, it's not. Right, fair enough. So as an example, here is my phone on a binoculars on a tripod with a couple of horse riders slowly going by and what, what I want to get to with this and it's better to um, look here we go look watch this so that's normal this is sharpness 15 can you see this subtle subtle difference there let me just bring it up to watch this because I've done this for every example here and you've got to really play around with this if you want to get good at your video editing so this is the native clip with nothing and then I put on screen S15, which means sharpness 15. You probably won't know any difference, which is interesting because if I tap there and I go to edit sharpness, you'll see that it takes a shot of the actual frame we're talking about clearly. That is nothing, look. Can you see it's quite sort of smooth? Quite a complicated thing really, but I've done it for that reason that you can see the tree trunks and the leaves and things going by. That is 200 huge difference so this is the argument is to say that normally you could say well you know a hundred sharpness which is out of halfway you know if you do stabilization and various other things about halfway but it clearly isn't because it really throws it off that's why I've chosen and my tip depending on the clip is bring the sharpness in until you can just just see a subtle subtle difference now could you remember what I think it was 20 wasn't it tap 20 tick and then go back and that's sorry 15 I'm just going to keep accurate here because this is remembering an awareness thing of what sharpness is all about we said 15 if you want to get exactly you tap in the number 15 enter and back so what we've done here now is we've got a few example clips so the next one is a quite a simplistic and I'll just wait for it to load for a second it's literally a tree uh, with a couple of green leaves waving. This is going to sharpness 100. Just watch. And there is 100. The thing is, is if you go back, that was a still of sharpness at zero. That's... 
I think I might publish this as a separate video as an example thing. Then I go on to another example which is really interesting because I think part of the thing says that if you have a, a blurry video then you can actually enhance a part of the blurry video. Although this looks like a rabbit, which it clearly is a rabbit, I've done it through phone on binoculars on tripod. The log at the background here and the leaves are pretty clear but this little bunny rabbit is a baby bunny rabbit honestly no bigger than about um, four or five inches maximum if that tiny tiny little thing so what we find here going back is if we go on to nothing and then I've used and I've done a bit of work on this watch watch and then we go into sharpness 30 so that was sharpness 30 thing is you've got to play around with this a lot. That's sharp plus 30. I'm sticking with the bunny rabbit a little bit. This is a closer one look. So if I just play it a tiny bit, you'll notice that it, my mobile phone was very hard to actually focus in. But when I jump over to sharpness 30, just keep your eyes on the dead center at the, the rabbit. It's just coming up about now. And you can see the whole thing has just popped just a little bit. Bear in mind it's very difficult to get focus on a, quite honestly, on a bunny rabbit because um, by the definition of the fur blowing in the, the gentle breeze there it's not going to be sort of sharp like a road sign or whatever. And then the next one is going to be, he says, very very similar. This time it starts off about there. You see it's very difficult for me, you know, to get exact. Then I go over to there and it comes into sharpness 20. I think we can get the idea now. And as a matter of interest, that sharpness 20, and then this is sharpness 200. Let's play that a tiny bit. See sharpness 200 there, which the actual rabbit you could argue looks all right, but almost in this like surreal Beatrix Potter type um, carvings. Um, or sorry, carvings meaning a sort of drawings, shall we say, old-fashioned drawings. That was 23rd of August. I think we need to finish there. Shall I or shan't I publish this whole video? It's quite interesting actually to do it, but I'll put the help video out now, which was Powder Actor Android App 52, which is sharpness.